They are natural comedians. They take what we fear the most and make funny shapes out of them. And what we fear the most, I think, is probably death, right? Like death and decay. And they're like, oh, really? You're afraid of that? Let me like make something awesome and rare and culinarily profound and possibly even poisonous or magical and beyond the scope of modern science. It's kind of like they're funny in the same way as Shakespeare's classic fool characters where they're silly and they make fun of everyone, but they're also the smartest characters of the play. But what I'm always looking for is an expansion of awareness. Like I can get really bogged down by life. I can get really heady and worried and concerned about the state of things and you know, the climate and capitalism and what's the world coming to and there's probably some conspiracy theory that I'm running crazy with, but when I'm in the woods and when I'm actually away from the source of all my concerns, which happens to be usually my phone, um, I'm, I'm just reminded a little better of what I'm doing. Even if I don't find a single mushroom, even if I don't find anything that I can eat or, or oogle, I, I tend to find at least perspective, and I think that's, that's the one thing that I look for. The ones that grow after a fire, of course, that's exciting because people can can locate them a little easier. Um, but yeah, they typically like earth that has been damaged. So that's something that I find really fascinating about them is that they thrive in, in chaotic spaces. Um, and they're really hardy. They're not like other mushrooms. They are hollow on the inside. They're like little tents, you know? Um, good for bugs and stuff to crawl into. They probably make really nice hats for gnomes, I would imagine. 